Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hennis, and today guys, I bring you an absolutely insane video over here on Carnage Tasty's channel. I believe this is actually the first commentary that I've ever done on Tasty's personal channel. So this is kind of a monumental moment. I've done commentaries over Tasty's videos over on the Carnage Clan channel, but I've never done one on his personal channel. So if you guys are fans of Carnage Tasty, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Carnage Hennis. I'm a commentator for Carnage. I was recruited through the same recruitment challenge that Tasty came over on. Very excited to be working alongside Carnage, and specifically specifically tasty here because he's an absolutely insane pub stomper and he pushes out absolutely insane gameplays and this gameplay is no different this video marks the final pistol dna for tasty's pistol dna week what you guys are going to be watching is a solo rw1 red dot site dna bomb playing some tdm on the map comeback he goes absolutely in hopefully you guys will all enjoy this gameplay if you guys do please be sure to smack that like button if we could try to shoot for 50 likes on this video guys that would be absolutely insane obviously we don't have to hit that but that like button is there for a reason so be sure to take advantage of it if you guys do enjoy this video and this awesome gameplay and if you guys enjoy this commentary be sure to come check me out. My link will be in the description below, youtube.com slash prohennis. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is actually something that I'm going to be involved in next November. So some of you guys are probably aware that we will be electing a new president in 2016. Now, I am currently 17 years old, which means I cannot legally vote, but because I was born on July 7th, 1998, next November, I will be allowed to vote in the presidential election. And this is something that's been kicking around in my head for a little while now. Obviously, I have opinions that come from school teachers. I have opinions that come from friends, but most of the political opinions that I've formed have actually come from my parents, obviously. I have a lot of conversations with my dad about politics. He's really involved. He really enjoys talking about it. So I really enjoy thinking about politics a lot. And one of the things that I've been thinking about when it comes to this new presidential election is who I'm going to vote for. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't really done my fair share of research. I could not tell you who's running in this election. I couldn't tell you what they all stand for. I know a couple people, I know a couple names, and I know what parties they're in, but I don't really know what their core beliefs are. I don't really know what their plan is if they become president of the United States. And one of the things that I really hope all of you consider, if you guys are going to be turning 18 or are 18 or older and are going to be voting in the next presidential election, please be considerate of who you vote for. Don't just walk in and vote for somebody because you like their hairstyle or because you like their name or you think they're a big tough guy, stuff like that. You really should vote for people based on their political beliefs, based on who you think is going to be the best leader for the future of this country. Because it always amazes me every single year when you hear the statistics after the presidential election, like Mickey Mouse had 5% of the votes or something like that. That just like blows my mind. I think that may actually be a little bit too high. But you guys get my point. People just write in names just for the sake of writing in names. We have this right to vote for the next leader of our country, and we really shouldn't just blow it off. We should actually do our research, find our facts, and form an opinion about who we want to vote for. I personally am going to have to start doing a lot of research on who I want to vote for. I've watched a couple political videos, watched some interviews, and tried to form opinions on certain people. Right now, I have sort of first impressions on people, how I think they behave, how they look, and I've made judgments on that, but I really should look at what they believe in and what they think they're going to be doing for this country. I'm not going to simply go and vote in November of 2016 and vote for Hillary Clinton just simply because she's female. And it really bothers me when political candidates use that as a means of trying to gain voters. I remember a clip of Hillary Clinton was shown on Today Show and she was saying, isn't it about time that we had a female president? And I watched that and that just made me angry because we should not vote for people based on their sex, religion, ethnicity, or their race or anything like that. We should vote on people based on their core political beliefs. So hopefully this video was helpful and informative for you guys. And if you guys have any opinions on anyone in the presidential election right now, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be curious to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys watch this entire commentary, be sure to comment down below, hashtag election 2016, and that'll let me know that you guys watch this entire video. But anyways, guys, that is all. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming. And as always, stay cool. Adios.